whenever I'd watch YouTube. I just wish people would be more transparent about how their skin actually is and how there is a lot that goes into making your skin look good when you're filming. Hi guys, what's up? It's Elisa and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a chats with Elisa video which I haven't done in a while. And in today's video, I'm really excited because I'm going to be talking about something that I don't normally talk about really and I'm going to be talking about my skin journey, my struggles with acne, my biggest insecurity essentially, which has been my skin actually. Now, what I will say is that it's taken so much trial and error to get my skin to a place right now where I do feel confident. Even now my skin is not perfect, like lighting and a good camera, like all of those things help your skin out. So even though my skin looks really good on this camera, if you were to see it in real life and even if I go in a little bit like you could see texture on my skin you could see acne scars and again this camera is really great so it's not going to pick up on everything but in real life you will see the texture and the different pores and i just felt like i wanted to start this video out being transparent because i think that's one thing growing up whenever i'd watch youtube i just wish people would be more transparent about how their skin actually is and how there is a lot that goes into making your skin look good when you're filming. I'm gonna share the products that helped me heal my acne, the products that I still use, and I'm also gonna be talking about my skin journey. So if that sounds good to you, then just keep watching this video. I figured for context, I would tell you guys a little bit about my skin and my struggles with acne. I remember in fifth grade is when I first started having acne. In sixth grade, I don't know exactly how it happened, but I ended up getting these huge like blisters on my cheeks and I don't know if it was because of a reaction of what I did because I was I remember I was trying like different things to help my skin heal and I just remember I ended up getting a really bad um, dark marks like around the middle of my cheeks and it was very prominent because it's obviously it's in the middle of your face and I remember going to school and people would literally look at me and be like what happened to your face and as a 12 year old who is already feeling insecure who is already trying to embrace her body but has no idea how to do that hearing those words from someone was very devastating and so began my basically 10 year journey with acne. And I would also get unsolicited advice from family members who I know their intentions were good, but I think for those of you who have struggled with acne, you know when your mom or your aunt or that one friend is like, you know, you should try this new product. It really works well. And in some ways it is helpful because maybe the product works, but mostly it's just this backhanded way of reaffirming that you have acne and you have imperfect skin to me it always just made, gave me this like kind of punch in the gut feeling and I never really liked it because it's kind of like if I wanted your advice on how to clear my skin then I would ask you so let's fast forward now into college so when I was 18 or 19 I decided to go on birth control and when I went on birth control, I really noticed a difference in my skin. Like it was clearing up a lot. And for the first six months to a year of using it, it really did help my skin. And there was a phase where I felt like I have really good skin and it felt good to just see the results. About a year later, about a year and a half later, my acne came back. In 2020, I think when my skin was again probably the worst that it's ever been. I'll try to put photos here or in the thumbnail, but to be honest, I was really insecure about the way my skin was. It's unfortunate because I wish I did take more comparison photos because I wish I could kind of see the, the own journey that I've been through with my skin, but the reality is that I just didn't. So I'll try to find those if I can. I also have a theory that this was when I was very depressed and I was struggling with mental health. And I do think that played a really big part in how my skin was because now when I am so much happier and so much more fulfilled, I see such a difference from 
back then so I do think part of it was stress not being in the best environment not eating properly um, not feeding my body nutrition all of that really wrecked havoc on my skin and you could see it with that said I have some notes that I've typed up so the first thing that I would say that really improved my skin is not trying so many products there is such a market for acne fighting products you got proactive you have um, curology you have so many different companies that are targeting people with acne because they know it's an insecurity for a lot of people and that people most people are willing to pay that money in hopes that it's going to clear their skin so that's one thing that I would say that really helped me is to sticking to a consistent routine and actually getting rid of all of the unnecessary products that you don't use now two ingredients that i incorporated in my skincare regimen that have been game changers you've probably heard of them are salicylic acid and niacinamide so salicylic acid really helps prevent like the bacteria that forms into acne the other ingredient that i mentioned niacinamide what that does is it helps with um, reducing like dark spots and so that was something that even when I cleared my acne that was another kind of goal of mine was okay how can I help brighten my face now so using those things those two things in combination are really the dynamic duo because I have a facial product called the inky list salicylic acid cleanser I use that on the in the evening and then I also follow it up with the niacinamide serum from the ordinary and that combats the acne but it also helps prevent dark spots if I do break out it just helps the healing process and I have seen such a huge difference in my skin and it being a lot brighter the other product that I incorporated in my skin that also has salicylic acid that magic ingredient is the Paula's Choice AHA and BHA exfoliant now that one is also something that you probably want to build your skin's tolerance to you want to maybe start using it once a week and then maybe up it to twice a week and then maybe every other day but essentially what it is is it's a toner but it's also a liquid exfoliant so it's supposed to help clear your skin but it's also supposed to help the texture of your skin and what I actually like to do is I'll take the bottle and I will just shake a little bit on my hands and then I'll press my hands together and then just put it directly and pat it on my face. That's one way that I actually saw that you could use it and it helps get the most out of the product without wasting it because it is pretty pricey. Um, it's not cheap at all but I really love it. The product that has helped me is also The Ordinary's Chemical Peel. It's like their AHA and BHA I think also exfoliant. What it does is it helps brighten and improve the texture of your skin and that one, the first time I used it, it really stung so I would be careful with that one and use it in moderation and just use a little bit but I would say that product has significantly improved my dark spots and now I feel like they have really reduced a lot and they're definitely not as visible and as prominent as they were before. So. Those are the products that I recommend if you're looking for products that are specifically targeted for acne or have ingredients that are really great at combating it. Another thing that I would really recommend looking into is be wary of the sunscreen that you use. So growing up, I remember I would just use the very generic Neutrogena sunscreen and it was one of those sunscreens that was really thick and oily and when you put it on your face you could immediately see a white cast this was way before obviously I was making my own money so I was buying like the cheapest thing that I could find I also didn't really know a lot about skin care so I would just use whatever my mom would buy me that was one of the things that was really breaking me out because after I stopped using it my skin did clear up a lot and that's when I realized, okay, I really have to be mindful of the sunscreen I use. Because for me at least, I found that a lot of sunscreens broke me out. One of the first sunscreens that I used that was really helpful for 
preventing or at least just not breaking me out more was the sun bum one that one was really good i don't use that one anymore i've also used the alba botanica one those two you can get in the drugstore which is why i wanted to mention them because they are affordable and they were pretty decent the one that i use right now is my absolute hands down favorite sunscreen and it is the l to md uv clear in spf 46. that sunscreen is amazing i think that's one of my favorite skin skincare products that i have found ever because not only does it leave your skin feeling really soft and just not oily it does not leave a white cast but it goes on so smoothly and it adds a glow to your face that's what i'm wearing right now but it doesn't leave you oily the one i use is also tinted so it gives just the slightest bit of coverage but it's definitely not in replacing your foundation or your tinted moisturizer it's very very light but i really like it so I would highly recommend that one. And the UV clear one is also meant specifically for more acne prone skin. Finally, the other little point that I wanted to mention is that happy life equals happy skin. Finally, when my life started switching around, I started becoming more independent and just getting out of and working on the mental health struggles that I was dealing with at the time that really significantly helped my skin. The other thing that I wanted to mention is throughout this entire process, I did not use Accutane. Now, if you haven't heard of Accutane, Accutane is a very, very harsh, hardcore um, drug, I guess, pill, if you want to call it, that people take when you have severe acne. I have a story time with that actually where I visited a dermatologist. He basically took one look at me and was like, you have really bad skin and the only way that you're going to heal it is with Accutane. And hearing that just made my heart drop because it was like, wow, like he didn't even recommend other ways of how I could heal my acne. He went straight to the most severe form of treating acne. I think you should always follow what you feel is best for you and do your own research because my skin was pretty bad at one point but I didn't want to go down that route of using Accutane because there are so many side effects. I'm not going to go through all of that in this video because it would take too long but you could just look up the side effects of Accutane and it speaks for itself. I don't want to totally discredit that way of healing your acne or that method because I've seen people also who have gone through through the side effects but in the end it did clear their skin and to them it was worth it. I'm just saying that if something doesn't feel right to you and you feel like there's another way that you could heal your skin that feels true to you, don't be afraid to voice that or to follow that. And for me, that's kind of what it took for me. It took trial and error, it took patience. And now I can confidently say that I, I am in a good place with my skin and I do feel like it's not this thing that's constantly in my head when I meet people like, oh, are they looking at my acne? And I also don't wanna portray this message that you need clear skin to feel confident or to feel beautiful. That's definitely not the case, but I will say that it really boosted my confidence when I found a skincare routine that actually worked. But I did want to kind of give my final thoughts on just my skin journey in general. Looking back, I am quite grateful for my struggles with acne because it taught me a lot of resilience. I feel like in my own journey, what helped me the most was finding what worked best for me. And my camera is about to die, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up. But the other thing that I wanted to mention as well is to just have patience. You know, all good things that are worth having take time, so don't be discouraged if you're trying something out and it's not working. It truly takes a few months for you to see results. And even for me, I'd say it took a full year of doing the skincare routine that I do now to actually see results and get to get to this place right now. So I hope this video helps someone out there. This video is not meant to serve as a replacement for seeking professional help, but more so a safe space to say, I've been there and I got through it and there is a light at the end of the tunnel and these are the products that have helped me and maybe they can help you. So with that said, you guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.